Hallelujah. Welcome to Dream Interpretation with the Dream Interpretation Doctor, Pastor Timothy Egwatwichi Omo. It is said that water is life and water has no enemy. We use water for almost everything. As good as water is, it can also be dangerous. But what is the meaning of water in a dream? Don't go away. Water is a natural substance that is colorless and tasteless in its original form. I'll be talking about it today in this series. The meaning of water in a dream. Let's go to the Bible. Let's see the book of Psalm 65, verse 9. Thou while visitest the earth and waterest, waterest it. Thou great, greatly enrichest it with the river of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them come when thou hast so provided for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then Psalm 69, verse 1. That is the second place. Psalm 69, verse 1. Save me, O God, uh -huh. for the waters are come into my soul. Hallelujah. Save me, O God, for waters are come into my soul. I want to mark all these places because I will be bringing the meaning of water. Now, let's see the book of Exodus chapter 7, verse 20. Exodus chapter 7, verse 20. Exodus chapter 7, verse 20. Uh -huh. And Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded them, and lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river, in the sight of Pharaoh, and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Hallelujah. And the, all the waters that were in the river were turned to be blood. Now, Exodus chapter 15, verse 22. Exodus chapter 15, verse 22. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, and they went into the wilderness of Shur. Uh -huh. And they went three days in the wilderness okay. and found no water. And found no water. And found no water. Water in a dream is what I'm going to be talking about today. What is the meaning of water in a dream? Water symbolizes blessing. Water means sustenance. Water means trouble, depending on the type of dream and the, how that water is connected to that dream. Water means spirit. Water is also life. I'm going to talk about this. But there's no how you're going to get the real meaning of water in a dream until you find out the meanings of the sources of water in a dream. What do you mean by sources of water? The angle that that water is being channeled, the channels of that water, that's what I mean by the source of that water. For instance, a spring water. What is the meaning? Spring water in a dream means resources. Yes, a spring water is a place where water is gushing out from the stone. It is always very cool and very bright. It means resources. In some geographical areas, we make you to have this type of water. Then, rainy water, water falling down from the rain. Then it depends on how it is falling. If it comes with a storm, it comes heavily. It means trouble. But if that water is coming gradually, falling gradually, not with a storm, it's come like a shower. It means blessing. I want to mark all these things. I have to tell you that a little thing changes the meaning of a dream. That's why when you are seeing a symbol in a dream, you find out exactly how that symbol occurred so that you get the accurate interpretation. 
Then we are still on the water. The sources of water and the east meaning. Because I told her that when you get the source of this water, it's going to help you to know the actual thing that you are facing concerning that water. Then when we talk about flood of water in a dream, flood of water means trouble. It means strong trial and temptation. Let's see the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, uh -huh. and his glory from the rising of the sun. Uh -huh. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, yes. the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Hallelujah. Praise God. When the enemy will come with his troubles like a flood of water, the Spirit of God will raise standard against them. Isaiah 59, verse 19. Then, pool of water. Pool of water. What is the meaning? Pool of water simply means healing. Or we call it healing power. This is the book of John. John chapter 5. Let's see verse 2 and verse 7. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market uh -huh. a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethsaida, having five porches. Verse 7. Yes. The important man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step it down before me. Hallelujah. When I'm coming for my healing into this pool of water, and that person is stepping because nobody to put me into it. Then the same John chapter 9 verse 2. John chapter 9 verse 7, sorry. John chapter 9 verse 7. We are still talking about a water as a pool, meaning healing or healing power. And said unto him, Go wash in the pool uh -huh. of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seen. Hallelujah. So when you get that place, you understand what is actually the meaning of a pool of water. The next thing we have to understand is rivers of water. Rivers of water means spirit. Mostly Holy Spirit. So whenever you see a river of water, your attention should be taken so far. So this thing is talking about the Spirit. Most of the issue of rivers of water is dealing on Spirit. Then, when that uh, water is a stream, it's a stream. Stream is lower than or smaller than river. It means Spirit also, but that may be bad or good Spirit depending on that stream, depending on what happened on that stream. That is it. Then I want you to go to a tap water, tap water, a tap water, where people go and fetch water, mostly for domestic purposes. That means grace. It means grace. God is trying to tell you that there's an encouragement on that assignment when you're fetching clean water from a tap. It means grace. It's a very nice dream. Anytime you see such a, a dream. Then when that water is you are fishing, it's not clean. You know, you open the tap, it comes with mud water. Water that's not clear. It is negative. You're talking about infirmities. You're talking about some thing that will not be good that is coming up in that affair, in that relationship, mostly in that issue of the day so be very very careful about it water then pouring water away pouring water away you see also very very bad that thing talks about death pouring water like some bucket water in the bucket and pour it away talking away kicking away life You're talking away destroying life then erosion what is erosion? Erosion means a running water. When there's a heavy rain, you see a water that is running on the ground. That means trials and temptation. It is not good. 
mostly when somebody's walking on it when you're walking on erosion walking on a water that's running after a very heavy rain it comes like a current of water it means trouble it is not good now let's see the book of exodus chapter 7 verse 19 and the Lord spake unto Moses, uh -huh. Say unto Aaron, yes. Take thy rod, and stretch out thy hand upon the waters mm -hmm. of Egypt, mm -hmm. upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, okay. that they may become blood, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, okay. both in vessels of wood, and in verses of stone okay that is it so that such water is trouble it's a water that is forbidden a sort of then i want you to look into this remember that if you never subscribe on this video subscribe and share it so at any time that youtube and uh, we drop a video youtube will notify you subscribe and then share it that's the most love you can show unto me on this uh, channel god bless you now i'm going to pray for you i'm going to pray for you most of the things that you are facing might have been after a dream of seeing yourself in one way or the other in the water sometimes some people call me and they explain how they are swimming on water i will be talking about that mostly but let me tell us this before i pray for you anytime you see yourself sweet swimming in the water that thing is talking about spirit some most of the times some me some some of that thing means evil spirits so you have to know who and you we are swimming inside that water very very important shall we pray in the mighty name of jesus amen, amen. father i give you thanks for the grace for people that are viewing this clip, this moment, the power, oh Lord, for them to come to the revelation of what this water meant, that they are seen all the time. Lord, arrest that power now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The grace, oh Lord, for them to triumph, release it. The power that will re-establish them after all this is devastation, by seeing activities in the water, walking even in the mud water, Father, May the power in the name of Jesus Christ destroy the oppression behind this. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, they need grace to move forward in life. So that clean water, that substance that will sustain their lives, that will give them encouragement. Release it now. Amen. The water from above, the uh, water of life, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, release it upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, my Lord. You, for answer to our prayers Amen. in jesus name we pray amen, amen. god bless you